are doing three lessons of revision before your test. So the last thing you have to learn. Yes? Do I get to make a study sheet? Yeah, we'll talk about that later. The last thing we need to learn about is the zero index and power of a power. Anything to the power of zero is always equal to one. Always. That's this first rule here. Anything, any base to a power of zero is going to be equal to one. Doesn't matter what it is. We're always equal one. That's your first law for today. The second law we're going to learn about today is when we have brackets and we have powers both inside and outside of those brackets. To expand those brackets out, all you need to do is multiply those powers together. So we have over here m times n. Now it's important that you don't get confused as to when you're multiplying things with the same bases and you add the powers. This one's different. When we have brackets, we multiply the powers. Okay, all right, let's practice. In the examples, number 1a, simplify. We have 35 to the power of 0. As soon as you see a power of 0, circle the thing that is to the power of 0 and write a little 1 above it because you know that that's going to equal 1. Sometimes it's not the whole thing. Okay, Everything there was to the power of 0, so that whole thing is going to be equal to 1. But often there's still some other things around there that you're still going to have to work with. Okay, so you need to be a little bit careful. In part B, M is to the power of zero, so all of that's going to be equal to one. So that is also just going to equal one. Part C, this is where it gets different. Nine times A to the zero. The A to the zero, that's equal to one. But I still have 9 times that. Nine. So 9 times 1 equals 9 for the final answer. Part D, 2 to the power of 0 plus 6. I have a power of 0, so circle, power of 0, that's going to be equal to 1. 1 plus 6 is 7. In E, I have x to the power of 6 in brackets. And that's to the power of zero. It doesn't matter what this thing is here. If it's to the power of zero, it's just going to be equal to one. So that is still just a one. The rest of these questions here are going to involve the second rule. Expanding out the brackets when we have two powers there. What we do is we keep the base. So for F, two is the base. And we multiply the powers. 3 times 5 is 15. So it's 2 to the power of 15. That's one that had a number as the base. G has a letter for the base. D. D is my base. Multiplying those powers, 6 times 5 is 11. Okay, they're slowly going to get a bit more involved. In H. Oh, yes, thank you. I didn't. Times my powers. Cash, thank you. 30, got to times the powers. H, as we get more things in the brackets, each one of those, you have to times each one of those powers together. So I have an A there. Remember that's an A to the power of 1. Okay, so let's start with the A as the base. Timesing the powers together, make sure we times. 1 times 4 is 4. Timesing powers. B is the second base, and I want to go 2 times 4, which is 8. Part I. I want to expand both of the brackets out first, and then I'll worry about the multiplication, okay? So expanding the brackets for the first one. K is the base. Times in the powers. 3 times 2 is 6. Leaving the time sign for now. Expand the second bracket. K is the base again. Timesing the powers. 5 times 4 is 20. 
Now to do a normal multiply. This is where we add the powers. This is why you've got to try not to get confused. So the K is the base. Adding the powers will be 20 plus 6 is 26. J. These questions here are so common for people to get wrong. When there is a number out the front. When this happens, that has to be to the power of what is outside. So I want 3 to the power of 2. It doesn't mean times 2. It doesn't mean plus 2. It means to the power of 2. So you can grab your calculator out. All of you do it. My calculator's not on here today. What is 3 to the power of 2? Nine. nine, good. So nine. Okay, so you've got to remember that one. Tricks a lot of people every year. Three to the power of two for that number out the front. The M, now we're back to normal stuff. We have our normal base there, and we want to multiply those powers. Seven times two is 14. On the next page, we have a couple more. Getting a little bit harder. Like always, expand out your brackets first. So in these ones, we have numbers out the front again. So the 2 to the power of 3. What is 2 to the power of 3? 9. Oh, wait, no. Uh, 6. Nope. It's not 2 times 3. It's not 2 plus 3. Nine, nine. Nine, it's nine, 2 nine. to the... Who said? I heard 8. Yes, 8. Good job, Sai. 2 to the power of 3 means 2 times 2 times 2. 2 times 2 is 4 times another 2 is 8. Okay, or use the power button on your calculator. You all know where that is? Yeah. Who said no? Joey. Um, oh, Oscar, can you show him where the power button is? Or do you not know? I don't know. Cash is showing? Yep. It's an X with a little box above it. Got it? Great. All right, let's keep expanding. The next one, x is the base, and we want to times those powers. 4 times 3 is 12. Okay, expanding the second bracket now. Careful with that 3. It is 3 to the power of 2, which is? 9. 9. 3 times 3. That's what power means. So that's a 9. y is the base, times in the powers, 2 times 2 is 4. Then we want to times those together. So 8 times 9 is 72. The, we have x's and we have y's. We don't add the powers for those. You only add the powers if they have the same base. If they have a different base, they just have to sit next to each other. So x to the power of 12 and y to the power of 4. Part L. Expand out the brackets. Each of those big numbers has to be squared. So starting with the 5. 5 squared is not 10. Don't say 10. What's 5 squared? Not 10. 25. Did you say 125? Yeah. Not cubed. That would be cubed. Yeah, yeah. We only want squared. So would it be 5 times 5? Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. So that's 25. M is the base times the powers. 3 times 2 is 6. On the bottom, the, the 3 there, we want to do 3 squared. What is 3 squared? 9. nine that's right, it's 3 times 3, which is 9. N is the base, and we times the powers. 4 times 2 is 8. Always check if you can simplify. So the 25 and the 9, can I divide by anything there? Three. I can't divide 25 by 3, unfortunately. Mm. So no, we can't simplify that any further. We can't simplify the M's and the N's either because they have different bases. So they're not going to collect up either. So that's it. Question 2. This is the fun stuff here. This is the hardest questions that you'll get, all right? So there's just it just involves multiple steps. That's the only reason that these are harder questions. You just need to do one step at a time. First step is going to be to expand the brackets. So on the top, first bracket, 
I have a five, and I want to do five cubed. Alec, five cubed. That's right. Your one from before. 125. It means five times five times five. Or you find that cube button on your calculator. The x is the base, and we times the powers together. Two times three is six. Then leave the time sign there, and we're going to expand the second bracket out. I have a five to the power of four. That is a big one. That means five times five times five times five. Or use the little power button. Yes, 625. X is the base, times in those powers, 3 times 4 is 12. On the bottom, still more brackets to expand. I have 5 to the power of 3 again, which is 125. Alex, new favourite number. X is the base, times 6 by 3, which is 18. Some noisy people outside. Yeah, especially at 12 o'clock. Oh, they're doing push-ups. I wonder if they got in trouble for something. Ah, oh, see, they didn't do their homework. Ah, maybe we should, anyway. Let's keep going. Oh, you're good, thank you. You did your homework, so you wouldn't be getting punished anyway. Yeah, yeah. Right. It sounds like they're being beaten. All right, let's keep going, keep going. Next. You can cancel at this stage if you were comfortable doing that, but for most people you'll find it easier if you multiply the tops together first and just leave the cancelling all to the end, all right? So multiplying on the top, we are going to get a big number here. We want 125 times 625, very big number, 78125. Now we are multiplying. Okay, these aren't brackets with powers next to each other. When we are multiplying things that have the same bases, so x's and x's here, we're going to do what to the powers? Add. Add them, correct. So 6 plus 12 is 18. Over 1, 2, 5, x to the power of 18. I haven't done anything on the bottom yet. I was just multiplying the tops together. Now by doing that, hopefully you can see, I have got x to the power of 18 on the top and x to the power of 18 on the bottom. They're going to completely cancel out. Then the numbers. Use your calculator because those numbers are far too big for us to do in your head. Type in 78,125 over 125. What did you get? 625. Did we all get that? Lovely. Trusting you guys. That's it. One step at a time. Oh no, for that question. I mean, that's it for that question. I do, yes, I have one more question. And for some reason it says D, but that's okay. All right, first step is always expand the brackets out. So I only have one bracket there. Each, each one of those powers needs to be multiplied. So the A. 2 times 10 is 20, so A to the 20. The next one was B. I times 3 by 10 and get 30. Then C, 4 times 10 is 40. Over A to the 10, B to the 20, C to the 30. Now, because there's no brackets for that second part there, let's do our leave kiss flip. Right, remember when you have a divide, you leave the first fraction, you turn your divide into a times, that's the kiss, and you flip the fraction upside down to be b squared on the top and a cubed on the bottom. Now again, you can do cancelling out here, but we're going to stick with our process of doing that once at the end. So I'm going to multiply the tops together. Now, there's only... B's that can be collected up. The A and the C is going to stay the same. I have A to the 20. The B's, when they're multiplied, the powers are added. So 30 plus 2 makes 32. The C is not going to change. On the bottom, I'm multiplying my extra A cubed into here. So that will be A to the 13, adding those powers together. The B to the 20 and the C to the 30 
are not going to change. So here comes the cancelling part. You want to find, for each base, you want to find the one with the smallest power, cancel it off, and subtract it from the one that has the higher power. So for example, the A's. We have A to the 20 and A to the 13. 13 is the smaller one, so it's going to cancel completely away. And I subtract 20 take away 13 will give me a, what was it, 7? 7. I was looking at my writing thinking that was a 15 for a second, but it was a 13. 20 take away 13 is a 7. I've got 7 left there on the top. Now let's look at the Bs. Again, I'm looking for the smaller one. 20 is the smaller one. So cross off the 20, 32 take away 20 is 12. That's going to be left here. When you're crossing the one at the top, you don't want to cross the big off, you just cross the power. You're reducing that power down. And now for the Cs, 30 is the smaller one, so cross that entirely away. 10, uh, 40 take away 30 is 10. Everything's been cancelled, so we write down our answer. I have A to the power of 7, B to the power of 12, and C to the power of 10 on the top. Everything on the bottom has cancelled off. So it is the same as putting it all over one, but you don't need to write it. If everything's cancelled off, you just leave it like that. Okay? That is it. So there's only... Doesn't mean start talking. There is only two more pages and you'll finish this booklet. The rest is the answers, okay? So you've got two pages of work there to do today. So we can do revision next week.